An arrow fired from this bow always finds its target. <sighs> Don't you just love magic? Once Upon a Time was a fan's favorite, a fantasy drama series that ran for seven years and introduced us to some of the most lovable TV characters. What made the series even more lovable was that it brought to life characters that we have known since childhood. Snow White, Captain Hook, Belle, and Robin Hood, and created a unique story around them. The series didn't retell a story we were familiar with, but instead told an entirely new one. Even though the series was filled with ups and downs, it's fair to say that it ended on a good note. At least most of the characters had happy endings, but what about the actors that brought these interesting interesting characters to life. What have they been up to? Let's take a quick look at what our favorite characters from the series have been doing since they left Storybrooke. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications turned on so you don't miss any of the new videos that we post. Lana Parilla. Most of us like Parilla in all the seven seasons she appeared in despite her evil and sly ways. She was the evil Queen Regina who cursed the town of Storybrooke and took away the powers of the fairy tale characters. She was a cunning character, one that used her conniving skills to rob the residents of their memories. The show ended in 2018, in its seventh season, but in a later interview, Lana would admit that she was quite devastated when it was announced that the show was ending. The actress said she was upset that it had to end at that time, but she was glad that she would finally have the time to focus on other important things. It's been a long time being away from home. I've been homesick for seven years, the actress revealed. She decided to take a short break from acting, and it was during this hiatus that she divorced her husband, Alfredo de Blasio. This broke her heart heavily, but she said in a subsequent Instagram post that she wanted to use that opportunity to live her life to the fullest while also discovering what she really wanted for herself. In 2020, she finally returned to Hollywood with a role in The Tax Collector, a movie written, directed, and produced by David Ayer. She also appeared in the anthology series Why Women Kill earlier this year, where she played the role of Rita Castillo. Robert Carlyle. On Once Upon a Time, Robert Carlyle played the role of Rumpelstiltskin, who was both a hero and a villain of the show. A complex character, Robert received critical acclaim for his ability to effectively portray this character. Carlyle is a method actor, and he is known for sleeping out on the streets for two weeks in preparation for the movie Safe, which was about homelessness. However, the actor has taken on a more relaxed style of acting. He said in an interview with Shortlist, method acting was something I felt I had to do to understand this person I was playing. But of course, you don't have to kill someone in order to know what it's like to be a murderer. Eventually, as you get older, you leave all that behind. Since the show ended, the actor has been busy working on films like Yesterday as John Lennon and Ogilvy on the miniseries The War of the Worlds. He also went back to method acting in preparation for his role as Robert Sutherland, a prime minister. The actor added that he had to speak with countless politicians before the series Cobra, and this gave him a basic idea of how government meetings were run. Interestingly, he had also learned a few things that he could not share with the public. Jennifer Goodwin. Jennifer Goodwin is one of the characters that got a well-deserved happy ending on the show. As Snow White, she eventually ended up with her prince Charming. After leaving the show at the end of season six, the actress said that she wanted to challenge herself by taking on a different kind of role. This pushed her to join the play Constellations. In her interview with the Entertainment Weekly. She said that she had been obsessing over a homesickness for theater, which is one of the reasons why she decided to take on a theater project. She would later say that this theatrical production was the most taxing project she has ever completed. Later on, like Lana Parilla, she would play the role of Beth Ann Stanton in the anthology series Why Women Kill. She also appeared in the film I Am Somebody's Child, the Regina Louise story. Till today, she is still married to Josh Dallas, her real life Prince Charming, who of course played the prince on the show. The perfect story, right? Josh Dallas. Alice. Josh Dallas played the role of Prince Charming on the show and enjoyed a classic fairy tale ending after a kiss from Snow White that saved his life. Since he left the show, the actor read several scripts in a bid to find the perfect role. He finally found the role of Ben Stone in the NBC drama Manifest, a show about a plane that goes missing and reappears after five years. The passengers have no idea that so much time has passed since they boarded the flight. About his character, Josh Dallas said, he was a character that jumped out at me because he's so different in many ways from my character on once Upon a Time, he's a normal human being, he's very flawed and very complex, and he's trying to work through that. With the show still currently airing, it seems like Josh Dallas is doing very well for himself while also enjoying a beautiful marriage with Jennifer Goodwin. Jennifer Morrison. Playing the compassionate yet ruthless role of Emma Swan, Jennifer Morrison was a bail bond agent living in London who suddenly was tasked with saving the people of Storybrooke and breaking the curse. Jennifer, as Emma Swan, was one of the major characters of the show, and it is no surprise that the actress immediately 
found work right after she hung her iconic Emma jacket. After leaving the show, she landed roles in movies like The Report and The Bombshell, and also got the role of Cassidy Sharp on the popular show This Is Us. Interestingly, the actress has not just been acting, she's also tried working behind the camera as a director. Just recently, she directed one episode of Euphoria, the very popular HBO series, Jared S. Gilmore. Jared was quite young when he appeared on Once Upon a Time. He played the role of Henry Mills, the son of Emma Swan. His role was so important that the directors of the show had to carefully look for a child actor that could effectively play the role, which was termed precocious and vulnerable at the same time. The show's creators also added that immediately they saw Jared, they just knew that he had to be their Henry. Of course, Jared S. Gilmore did exceedingly well in portraying the character. However, since the young actor left the show, he hasn't been doing so much acting. Just after leaving the show, he did voice acting for Code Geass, The Louch of the Resurrection, an animated film. Since then, the actor hasn't taken on any significant acting role. In fact, he's been more interested in video games. In 2019, he joined the Overwatch League team Atlanta Reign as a streamer, and he streams under the handle Cowboy Bebamp. At the moment, there's no news suggesting that the actor will be appearing in any movie or TV series soon. We sincerely hope that he would return to acting soon, as his fans must terribly miss seeing him on screen. Emily DeRaven On the show, the character Emily DeRaven played had a bittersweet ending. Belle had to live the rest of her life with Rumpelstiltskin and finally died with him by her side. The actress had her second child right after the season finale. She named her new son Theodore and hasn't been doing much since she left the show. As a mother of two, she must be quite busy raising two kids, and we understand how busy this must have been for her. But she hasn't completely been on a hiatus. In 2019, she appeared in the TV movie A Lover Scorned, where she took on the role of Brooke. In the movie, Brooke is a character who tries to escape a marriage devoid of love by cheating on her husband. She is also set to appear in the upcoming film Wreckage, a movie about a man trapped in a destroyed building during a terrorist attack. Colin O'Donohue. Colin O'Donohue took on the role of Captain Hook from the second season of Once Upon a Time and quickly made an impression on fans as soon as his storyline began. At the end of the series, Hook ends up being saved by Rumpelstiltskin, a character who had once been his sworn enemy. After the show ended, Colin voiced the character of Doxy for the series Troll Hunters Tales of Arcadia. He then played in the movies like What Still Remains and Rider Sphere. His biggest role came when he landed the role of Gordon Cooper on the series The Right Stuff, a show about the Mercury 7, the real-life astronauts who flew the spacecraft for the project Mercury. And with that, we wrap up this video. Thank you for watching.